Some breaking news now. Three gun control bills are one step closer to becoming law in Rhode Island. Less than 24 hours after they cleared a key committee, the House passed the bills tonight, sending them to the Senate. Now the bills make it illegal to have a loaded rifle or shotgun in public. It bans high capacity magazines and it raises the age to buy guns or ammunition from 18 to 21. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts has been inside the House chambers all night and joins us now from the State House uh, with more on how emotions were running high as law lawmakers debated these bills. Well, state reps started debating at 4.30 Friday afternoon and after four and a half hours, they voted to pass all three gun safety bills. There are 62 votes in the affirmative four that I have the act prevails. The Rhode Island House of Representatives passing three gun safety bills. <laughs> following a heated night inside the House chambers. So, what we're doing is we're so passing a war against the white people. Gun rights advocates filled the gallery along with some gun safety advocates. Those against these bills making it known. <laughs> the speaker quickly shut it down. If the court is not maintained, I will claim the gallery and close it and everybody can watch it on TV. The three bills taken up by the House Friday include one that would ban high capacity magazines that contain more than 10 rounds of ammo, another that would make it illegal to carry a loaded rifle or shotgun in public, and one that would raise the legal gun buying age from 18 to 21. The debates between lawmakers heated at times. It's, it's overruled. She's, it was demonstrative moving her hands, just like some of your members in your caucus. Please. The legislation saw a slew of amendments, most failing. Among the amendments shot down by reps, one that would give an exception to the high capacity magazine limit to those with a concealed carry permit, plus the highly opposed grandfather clause for those who already own firearm magazines with more than 10 rounds. One that did pass was making an exception to 18 year olds lawfully owning guns only if they serve in the armed forces or National Guard. If it's been, if it saves lives, why have you allowed it to sit in committee since you came into the chamber? After much back and forth, the majority of the House ultimately made their stances on gun safety clear. And unfortunately for someone like me, it took two terrible tragedies back to back to remind me why we need these bills to pass. Next up, the Senate Judiciary Committee will take up these bills next week. In Providence, Amanda Pitts, 12 News. Amanda, thank you. Statewide police organizations expressing their support for the legislation. Rhode Island State Police Superintendent Colonel Darnell Weaver says the state has the opportunity to help other communities feel more secure by passing these laws. He added that the bills, quote, will make Rhode Island communities safer from gun violence. The Rhode Island Police Chiefs Association also speaking out, saying in part, the proposed legislation outlines common sense, reasonable measures that enhance the existing gun laws in Rhode Island and help ensure the safety and well-being of all of our residents.